In this video, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to uh, graph supply and demand on in Excel and get it to kick out a, a proper economics graph. So I've got data, I've got prices, I've got uh, demand at those prices or the quantity demanded at those prices, and then I've got quantity supplied at those prices. So I'm gonna highlight this whole thing, uh, tell Excel to make a graph. I'm gonna go up to here. I'm gonna use the scatter. With the dots, you can use a different one if you want, but uh, I like this one. Okay, so the problem is on the x-axis we've got price, and on the y-axis we've got quantity. So the, the thing we need to do in Excel is, is to tell Excel to flip those around, because in a in a hard science you want the independent uh, variable on the on the x-axis, which is price in this case. Um, so we need to switch that around. So I'm going to right-click on the the graph that we've made. I'm going to go to select data and I want to change these around. So I'm going to highlight QD, that's the first one, uh, and I want the X values not to be the price, so I'm going, to, I'm going to highlight what you had there and delete it, but I want the X values to be that one. Okay, and then the Y values that go with those X values, I'm going to delete that. I want those to be the prices. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to come down here, and this is on the supply side, so I'm going to delete the X values for supply, and I'm going to highlight those guys. Then I'm going to come over to the, the Y values and delete those, and then highlight those right there, and hit OK, and now it has switched it around, and we can check this. So a couple things you can do here. You can, uh, let's format our x-axis here. Instead of the going by 20s, let's go by 10s. Make the minor ones 5. And our graph only goes to, to 120. So, you know, it's all personal preference as to what, you know, tick marks you want. If you want to put, you know, where you want to put them on, so on and so forth. How you want to label things. You want to label them. You know, up there you can put it wherever you want. But uh, all right, so we've got that going here. All right, so this point right here, oh, we can do the same thing on price here. So the maximum price is a hundred. Go to a hundred. And we'll make that ten. Make that five. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so. Um, on the demand side, if you if you want to change these, you can actually just change what it what it says right there because the the demand is actually the whole curve. And if you want to tell it, uh, if you want to label price on your graph, you could do that. And then let's say this is a market for widgets, whatever your whatever your product is. We've got that labeled real nice. Um, okay. So I just want to check. Okay, so when the when the quantity is at ten, uh, we should have a hundred price there, and so that's the way to read that. Or a hundred price leads us to ten uh, quantity. We're just checking to make sure so price is, is uh, uh, thirty on the the demand curve, and it is. And then uh, when the price is eighty, we'll follow that all the way. We go over to supply. Okay. Um, and we've got that. So it gives us an equilibrium right here, and that's about 45 price, 65 quantity. So if you're making this for students, then uh, then you've got that there. What's what's cool about this too is you could you could add another one following the same process you wanted to. Um, you could also change everything, right? So let's say you wanted to go 15. Uh, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, so on and so forth. You could actually shift over, you know, whatever, whatever the, the curve was, and um, that's that's some things you can do. So you you and you can mess around with the you know different colors and things in Excel and however you want it to look. There you go. That's how to make a proper. Supply and demand graph in uh, Excel.